Hello guys, good evening. Um, I'm back again, the Agro King, and I'm going to be talking about another topic, and it's something I currently discovered, and I really want to say it, it's happened to be very effective as per what I have practiced. Now, as everyone knows, I am a snail farmer, um, on the small scale though, and um, I try to do collect snails from the wild, and I buy from other small snail breeders as well. So, currently here, I started collecting snails from the wild, um, over a month ago, yes, over a month ago, and I have um, up to six snails here. Yes, the management practice here is very low. As, um, I'm keeping both the breeders, the point of lay, everything in one cage. Since I'm collecting them from the wild, I can actually get um, same size, right? And um, here, I'm currently here on probably for a few months, let's even say a few weeks. So I can't start creating pen i already have the pens at my house where i have more snails but here i decided to use my time well here since we have the snails at the disposal here to gather them so i am actually going to be changing the soil this soil has been here for one month i did not sterilize it i am not changing it because it actually has um nematodes no or i'm changing it because it has termites no i'm just changing it because i want to use the soil now if you take a look at the soil this was pure sandy soil when i placed it in here pure sandy soil like 100 percent sandy soil so i actually fed them food and this is actually rainy season i um, the dry season sorry and since it's dry season we would notice that um incidence of earthworms won't actually be so rampant so i don't have to worry about earthworms neither do i have to worry about so much ants here and there okay so i just had to um put the feed i don't dispose the food and i don't feed them so much that it gets spoiled now what i know i actually give them in large quantities banana peels all right because i know it wouldn't smell right it wouldn't stink it would just break down in the soil but things like purple right i just feed them the ripe ones i feed them the ripe ones in smaller quantity which um is very very easy for them to actually break down and feed on now while they, they are feeding on it, if you take a look at this, this is plantain peel and it has broken down. As you can see it has broken down and more of them has broken down and been incorporated into the soil. And from what I actually noticed, when you drop a seed, I actually tried that some times ago, um, even with them um, cocoa seed, this cocoa, if you're actually planning to go into cocoa farming and you have um, an abandoned snail pen where the soil is still there, I would easily recommend you place your seeds inside that pen. That would really go well because the ones I get, they did very, very well because inside the snail pen, if all um, activities are being done properly, the snail pen is supposed to be moist. So making water readily available, the high temperature is not affecting it, all the snails are doing pretty well and that would really be a very good place for your seeds to germinate. Now if you have problems with your seeds germinate, why don't you place them inside the box and place them inside your snail pen and cover with a mesh. That mesh would easily prevent the snails from going in there to feed on them and allow your, um, your seeds to actually have very good growth, growth medium and environment to actually thrive. Now, before you get your seedlings or um, your seeds out of there, out of the snail pen, make sure that you do what we call hardening off, right? You open some part of the snail pen, although yeah, it might affect your snails, but if your major aim is to actually have your seed germinate, you can open part of it to allow the plant to get light, right? And then you can actually close part of it and we can close it afterwards to actually prevent uh, um, disturbing your snail. And perhaps if you open part of it, obviously the snails will move to the part that is actually very dark, making it not still so much affecting them. So I'm going to be bringing out the snails because I'm going to be changing the soil. But I'm changing it because I want to make use of it. Now you can look at the snails. Like I said, I'm not actually uh, I'm taking um, adequate practices here or adequate um snail farming measures here because i'm actually putting the size with this size which is not very adequate because when this wants to feed if the feed is inadequate or is, if it's not enough these ones will actually take over and occupy more space while the younger one will not see anything to eat so but in order to prevent that i try to distribute the food all around to make every snail have access to food and like i said this is just a temporary place i'm going to be moving them back home where they actually have access to um, different pens for different size of snails. So here we have the snails and when we look at it, like, I actually know this was gotten yesterday night. This snail was gotten yesterday night. Now all these have been here since beginning of February, right, 2022. And then um, 
they were just retracted like this. But when they came into the pen and they started feeding, we noticed that their growth, like the meat um, of the snail, has actually filled up the shell very well. As you can see, showing that it is very healthy. I love when I have my snails very healthy because that's actually the, the happiness of every snail farmer. But that's not the topic of today. We are going to be talking about how you can actually get your snails to be very healthy like mine. How you can get your snails to be very healthy like mine. So, um, yes, I'm changing the pen. I'm, I'm changing the, the pen soil. But basically, what I'm trying to let you know from this video is that your pen soil or your snail pen soil can actually be used it can, it can serve as compost for you to plant. Either you want to plant inside the snail pen, that's if your snail pen is large, you can get a box like I said before, cover with a wire mesh and actually raise it inside um, because of the environmental conditions. Or you remove your snail soil or the soil from your snail pen and actually use it as a compost to grow your seeds into seedlings. All right, um, that is just all for today. Uh, whatever I do with this, I'm going to be doing a video on it and I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, basically, I'm going to be sharing that with you and um, also adding different other things that can actually help you know how to utilize your snail soil as compost better. Like you see, this is, um, how would I say, it? it's actually a sandy soil, once like this and now like this. So the whole difference, like there is a very big difference between this and this. This contains nutrients that can actually help your plants do really well. So that's all for today. And if this is your first time watching our video, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you actually learned something about how you can actually make use of this, or if you have more uh, um, hacks that you've actually discovered that can actually help you scale your business, like this is innovation, this is creativity. Agriculture does not supposed to be something that is rigid. You have to try different things out. So if you know different ways, that you can actually use to make your business more profitable or your snail farming business or any of your agricultural business more profitable um, sustainably, please, you can do well to inform us or probably um, use the comment section below or our social media handles at Global Agro Connect on Facebook and at GAC.2020 on Instagram. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is goodbye from me.